Alhamdulillah. Uh, I met up uh, with a woman, and um, that woman, she was Muslim, and her mom, she told me that I should look up into Islam, and it's then that I started doing my own research. So I was uh, reading like books, and I read the Quran, and I was really surprised to find that in the Quran that they were they had like the the same prophet that there was in the Bible, uh, even at a point that I, I didn't understand understood how Muslim will understand the Quran because in the Bible they have like the beginning of the story, and the Quran just completed it. So um, and. I started to do my own research, like even like a lot, a lot. I was recent researching, and um, the only problem that I end up having is like that, because as a Christian, you have to believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and if you don't believe this, you go to hell, and if you believe it, you go to paradise. And I didn't want it to go to to hell for nothing, like. Like it had to be the true religion, so I had to really make some research. And uh, alhamdulillah, um, I found that Islam was the truth, and uh, I made my shahada. So right after I took my shahada, three days after, um, my mom uh, called me and told me that uh, the police was looking for me. So I went to see my lawyers and they told me that I have to, I should give myself thin. So uh, I went and I gave myself thin, uh, but the, for the first time, it was the first time I went into jail as a Muslim. Uh, I'm here with my client Isaac, or known as Isaac Mushtaqim, who is charged in Montreal with various offenses, uh, particularly fraud, forgery, the use of forged documents, with regards to the fraud that my client is charged with, uh, the amount of the fraud is $689,970.24. This would occurred in the year of 2006 over a three-month period between the months of May and September. But there's a different side to Isaac that we know and that we've come across. Since his arrest, since these events, Isaac has completely turned his life around. I mean, notwithstanding this criminal record, I mean, breaking and entering, conspiracy to commit a criminal act, robbery, assault, mischief, intentional impersonation, I mean, the list goes on and on. Notwithstanding all of this, this individual has completely changed himself. He is no longer the person that he was when he was younger. Uh, he's married. He had a tough life. I mean, he grew up on the street. He grew up a, a, a life of crime and violence that's no longer the person he is he's married he's a contributing member of society he has a stable job we have letters of recommendation from his employers uh he's found religion he's converted to islam and he's he you know he, he's very observant of that uh he commits himself to to do charity work on on a purely volunteer basis no one has asked him to do this and these are all signs of someone that has seen the process, seen that crime is not a life that he has chosen, and he has clearly indicated that he wants to be a contributing member of society, and that, that... Advice. What advice have you got to Muslims and non-Muslims regarding Islam? Well, because... 
more that I because before I, I, did, I never knew like Muslim people if there was Muslim people in around me I didn't know because they never 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 talked to me about Islam I, I thought I think I really think that there was no Muslim around me but now that I'm a Muslim and I'm just like hanging out with Muslim and seeing Muslim there's a thing that really like get me sad you know it's because me before I used to like a lot of the I, I used to like a lot the tattoos and on my head I tattoo get money but more that I see little kids like young kids young Muslim I realize that they have the same tattoo that I have but not on their head they have it on their heart and they want to compromise their Islam for money, for like, like seriously, stupidity. Like I, I don't, and that get me like really sad that they don't know the value of what they really have. Because Islam gives me an happiness that like that everything that I had in my life like all the money the girls because with a lot of money comes the girls the money the girls the house the condo like all that life never give me a happiness that I have today a, happen a happiness that lasts and for the non-Muslim, seriously, before, like I, I didn't know nothing, I, I, for, for real, me, before, I will never thought I will be a Muslim, never, never, <laughs> so seriously, like, what they showed, what they're showing, like, in the media, because we all think, like, we think, like, Muslim is like crazy people with beard that want to blow themselves up like I don't I don't understand like what you see in the media is not the real thing really if you want to learn something you open the book and you read and before I used to not read never read but seriously when you read about Islam it's the best thing that you can learn and even if you're not interested about changing your religion or getting a religion at least just read it for like education just read it so you know what they're talking about why so much people are turning into Islam why you have to question yourself like because everybody has a brain maybe you, you believe there's a God or not I believe there's a God and a God like give us a brain and the brain is to think so I just ask you to think by yourself don't think like don't don't just follow what the media give you like think by yourself and read like read the Quran there's translation of the Quran in French and English in all the language so just read try to really learn about Islam and don't look what the Muslims are doing because that's a lot of people say like uh, but I know a Muslim a lot of Muslim we're human beings and we all do mistakes and there's a lot of Muslims that like uh, there's only one Muslim and that was a prophet that really like can live what the religion the prophet like that really like lived what the religion was teaching but all the Muslim most of the Muslim even me I'm first me I'm not I'm not a perfect Muslim we all try to be good we all try but you can't learn the religion by looking at me or hearing what I'm saying so that's why I'm saying go read the Quran and learn about Islam uh, from its, its source Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh.